all know that fall is the best time to get dressed. And I have been buying a bunch of sneakers recently. And what better way to style them with things like cargos, hoodies, and varsity jackets, for example. So let's not waste any more time. 12th Street wear outfit ideas right now. So let's start off with outfit one, which features this awesome varsity jackets. Varsity jackets are of course a streetwear staple at this point. And this one is actually from Etsy. And that is one of my favorite places to buy secondhand gems like you see here. eBay is in that category as well. This one has truly aged over time. This one's actually from the sixties and you're never gonna get that type of look and feel without the genuine time. Father time has to work into the jacket and I just absolutely love it. I love the green and I love the fact that it has a collar on it. Now, if you wanna get something like like this for yourself, what you gotta do is get your favorite fitting jacket, take the measurements of it, and then any good eBay or Etsy listing is gonna have the measurements of the jacket in the description, which you can compare to your favorite fitting jacket. The pants are vintage Levi's as well. These have a great mid wash, which goes with basically every single outfit, which is why I paired them with this dope jacket. And on feet, we have one of the most slept on sneakers of the entire year, the Union Air Jordan 1s. These ones flew super under the radar. I think they're very polar. Polarizing. Some people love them, some people hate them, but you know your boy had to pick them up and they're relatively easy to get as well. And just the tones of this I knew was gonna go with the vast majority of my wardrobe. So for me, it was an easy cop. And up top, we got a very neutral tone hat. This is from my brand, More Apparel. You guys have seen me wear this a number of times. And purchasing a hat like this not only supports me as a creator, but you were easily getting one of the best fitting hats. So don't forget, I'll leave a link in the description. Another one of my favorite pieces of outerwear are fleece jackets. And to me, of all of the streetwear brands, Stussy, in my opinion, is doing one of the best jobs at releasing some great quality fleece. Because whether you like something a little bit more on the minimal side, which they have, I have an all black version of this as well, or you like something with a little bit more flash, or a little bit more detail to it, they got you covered as well. In fact, this one right here was one of their quickest selling jackets when they dropped their fall winter collection, okay? It was gone within seconds. Luckily, they had a restock on the Essence website and there was one size small left and I bought it as quick as possible. But this thing is dope for so many reasons. You have all of these little flashes of color on it, whether it's burgundy gradient to an orange to a black, super fresh. And to match those type of colors, I went with some olive cargos. As you guys know, these are one of the things that gets featured all the time here on the channel. And these ones are the M65 cargos from Alpha Industries. I absolutely love the wide and the baggy fit with these, with the leg ties, just everything about them I really, really love. And for shoes, I knew that I wanted to go with something that was all black. And when I saw that the Air Jordan 4 breads were sitting there and they have these little hits of red throughout, I knew that these would pop really well with the fleece jacket. For accessories, I got on a beanie. I wanted to keep the accessories pretty light just because the jacket is pretty loud. It's got a lot of detail to it. And if I were heading out of the house for some reason, I'd throw on some like AirPods Max or just whatever it is just to sort of complete that sort of, you know, that like Y2K Pinterest vibe um, that is so popular these days. But ultimately, if I didn't want to listen to music, I would just leave them at home. But either way, this is the fit for outfit number two. And I got to say, fleece jackets are an absolute must this season. Another one of my favorite pieces of outerwear that Stussy makes are their quilted vest. This one in particular, I absolutely love because it does have that V-neck shape. So whether you wear it with a t-shirt or you wear it with a hoodie underneath, it's just gonna fit so, so well. And also white in this cream color that you guys are seeing here is just a color of a vest that I didn't have, but something that I knew that I was gonna wear a lot. And because it's more of that softer earth tone, more of a neutral color, they pair so well with things like olive pants, for example. Now these ones are from Abercrombie. They are the loose workwear pants. And I gotta say, these are gonna get worn an absolute ton. They're super comfortable. They have just a slight taper to them, but ultimately the wash and they have a little bit of stretch to them, which I absolutely love. And so what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description to these as well as every clothing item you see in the video. Now what I wanted to do was also match the accessories. So I went with this black Arcteryx B as I mentioned from the last fit, because uh, this one is a little bit more of a solid tone, especially in the top, as opposed to a pattern, I went with a graphic beanie, for example. And Arcteryx, in my opinion, makes some of the absolute best beanies to buy this season. They do sell out, so do not wait. If you like this type of style, definitely go in the description and use one of those links. And to match the aesthetic, I went with some black Adidas Sambas, whether you go with the Gazelle Indoor or something like the black Sambas, white Sambas, for example, you know they're gonna get a ton of wear. So overall, Overall, this is just a very transitional outfit. Uh, you could throw a hoodie underneath if it gets a little bit chillier, but something like this is just gonna get a ton of wear. Another one of my favorite vest styles is from Represent. Cole Buxton is another brand that makes a similar version as well. This one is just a simple matte black. It's got that scoop neck, 
that I was mentioning to earlier, that V-neck shape that just sits super well with the hoodie. It's super comfortable, doesn't bunch up along the neck at all. And underneath, I have one of my favorite daily essential hoodies. This is from Abercrombie. It is the popover hoodie, and I just can't recommend it enough. I have it in a number of different colors, and we'll see another way to style a little bit later on in the video. And for the pants, I went with a pair of Carhartt Carpenter pants. I got these ones off of Grailed. There are certain brands that make imitation, uh, you know, distressing that looks a little bit similar, but like I mentioned before, nothing beats um, the natural wear and tear that you get. And I got these for a very affordable price off of the secondary market. And if you're looking for a similar vibe, then I highly recommend you check those out. I have another uh, vintage Carhartt Carpenter pant outfit coming up soon. And on feet, we have the Air Jordan 4 Craft. These are easily one of the biggest sleepers of the entire year in terms of Jordan sneakers. The Air Jordan 4 is obviously one of the best. And I think that these are easily one of the best colorways. So overall, this next look is easily one of my favorites. And for accessories, I have another Arcteryx beanie. Uh, this is the skull cap version. And those ones seem to sit and feel the best with my head shape. Um, so once again, don't forget to shop those before they sell out. And overall, this is just easily one of my most worn outfits for the year. Nike ACG makes one of my favorite jacket styles to wear in the fall. This one is called the Cascade Rains Nike ACG jacket. It's a shell jacket, which means it's nice and lightweight and breathable, but it also will repel the elements. That's the best part about it. So whether it's raining or snowing or windy, for example, during the fall time, you know how the season can be. Got you guys covered. There's also a ton of details on these, whether it's the carabiners along the front or the side zipper pockets or the Velcro sleeves to help taper the fit. It's got you guys covered. And to go with the jacket, I went with these gray cargo pants from Lee Denim. These ones are super affordable and they have a really good stretch to them. They're easily one of the most comfortable to wear and they're very affordable as well. So you really can't beat it. Now to match the gray with the little hits of green on the jacket, I went with the Air Max 95 to complete that sort of gore pour kind of look. Um, ultimately, these are one of the most comfortable shoes that I own and they're one of my all time favorites. When these retro a few years back, I knew that I had to get them. And the light gray beanie kind of brings it all together. So ultimately, this is a really clean look if you like that type of style. And by the way, the name of this jacket is called Cascade Rains, which will take you directly to this particular colorway. For a more affordable alternative, what you could do is go with the Uniqlo Block Tech Parka. This is the gray one that I have right here. It's around, I think maybe like 80 US dollars, but it's all worth it as well. It's a fraction of the price of that Nike ACG one or Arcteryx, for example, but it still has that same water repellent properties. And they do come in a bunch of different colors, so you can get one to match with any type of aesthetic that you typically dress with. And uh, to pair with it, I went with another pair of Carhartt Carpenter pants. These ones are black and they do have that same washed features to it. Uh, they don't have a double knee detail, but I did get these ones from a local thrift store for like uh, 40 or so dollars. Um, so definitely check local, check online to get a good pair of pants like you see here. For accessories, I went with a Uniqlo U drawstring bag. They did just restock these in a bunch of different colors and they also include a much smaller version of this if this uh, sort of messenger bag style is just a little bit too big for you. So I definitely recommend them. I did pick one up recently. And to sort of match with the uh, olive hits of the of the outfit, I did go with this fitted cap. Um, it is from a brand called Style and New Era. It's a Blue Jays hat, of course, and there's just sunflower details to it, which I think just really tie with the fall aesthetic. And on feet, I have the New Balance 2002R collaboration with the base Mint. I just realized this is like a reverse colorway of the previous outfit with the olive and the gray hits. But either way, this is just another one of those sort of gore core styles with, you know, waterproof uh, clothing items that uh, is really popular these days. And this is just a really big vibe that I've been into recently. One of my favorite alpha combos this season has been to layer a long sleeve under a short sleeve. Now, this one is a washed black t-shirt that I've had for a while now. And if I'm being completely honest, it's a little bit too big for me. But instead of throwing it out or donating it, what I've decided Decided to do is throw a long sleeve underneath which helps sort of fills it out and uh, just adds a little bit better proportions for the overall outfit and for the pants I went with these real tree camel pants from the brand mossy oaks these ones I get asked about them all the time I bought them from grailed on the secondary market as you guys know by now that's one of my favorite places to buy pants is eBay Etsy grailed for example now Abercrombie does make a similar version to these that 
you can buy retail. You can return them if you don't like them. So I'll be sure to link them in the description. But overall, this outfit does hit the nail on the head in terms of that Y2K aesthetic with the layered t-shirts. This is something that I did when I was in like elementary school. So it's fun to see this sort of style coming back. And to match the brown from the outfit, I went with this uh, brown snapback from the brand St. Woods, great Canadian streetwear brand. And for the shoes, I have the Air Jordan 1 Palomino, which if I'm gonna be honest, if I have to recommend one fall shoe for you this season, it definitely has to be these. Prices on the resale market are very affordable. And honestly, I just absolutely love how they look. It's just money in the bank for me. Now this next outfit is easily one of my favorites in the entire video. So let's start off with the item that's probably jumping out to you the most. And that is this green shirt. This is a warm up shirt from the brand Roots, okay? When you look back to the 80s or the 90s, those basketball players in the NBA wore warm up shirts similar to this one where they had stripes, they had a, a collar along. And uh, this is sort of like a retro nod to that aesthetic, which I think is super, super cool because shows like The Last Dance, for example, is easily one of my favorite shows that I've seen of all time, right? And this is once again, another example of how to layer your favorite summery shirts because this is a short sleeve shirt, right? Button down. Um, this is another way of how to wear your favorite summer shirts for a few months extra, right? Get a, a long sleeve thermal and throw it underneath of your favorite shirt. And I went with those same vintage Levi's that you uh, saw from earlier in the video. Now, another element to this fit has to be the sneakers. Now, another aspect of the shoe that in my opinion is amazing are the sneakers. These are a recent pickup of mine. These are the New Balance C Notes, in my opinion, these are one of the best New Balances of all time. Okay, I just recently picked these up and I absolutely love them. Can't wait to style them. And this is uh, one of the outfits that I think I would pair them with and to sort of bring it all together, more apparel hat made a return. So ultimately, this is just a fun, super good uh, transitional vibe with a statement piece and just some, a nice pair of sneakers as well. Easily one of the best. One of my favorite outfit aesthetics to wear during the fall time is all black. And the key to wearing all black is just by adding a bunch of detail to your fit all within the same shade, right? So first things first, we have this black bomber jacket from Uniqlo. This is, I believe it's called the MA1 Blousen. And I absolutely love this thing. Not only is it water repellent, which is perfect for the fall time, but it just has a classy, boxy fit something that is very reminiscent of an og style of flight jacket that you would see you know from world war ii basically i have a simple black hoodie underneath from a choice made which is johnny ty's uh brand he is a fellow youtuber of course shout out johnny if you're watching this and on the pants i have a pair of levi's 505 these are a pair of jet black denim from levi's of course they have a nice straight uh fit you know something that's a little bit more of a boot cut type of fit and uh for accessories i have this quilted bag from cos on feet we have the air jordan 5 in the black metallic colorway something about all black during the fall time. It just gives off this certain vibe, certain masculine vibe to it that I absolutely love. May not be for everybody, but sometimes, as you guys know, I love to wear color. Sometimes it's good to mix things up. And uh, the key here to wearing all black is to add as many layers of black as you possibly can. So this is definitely a good example of, uh, you know, how I'm gonna be wearing all black in the fall time. So earlier in the video, we were chatting about that Abercrombie gray popover hoodie. This is the same one in a dark, dark green color. And one of my favorite ways to style it is as a matching set, meaning you get the same type of hoodie as you do for the sweatpants. So these are both from Abercrombie. They are made from the same material and obviously are the same color. Um, and the material itself, let me just mention, is very, very soft. It's not as rigid as I would like. I kind of do like my sweats to be a little bit more on the heavier side. However, they do have that sort of boxy fit that I love in terms of the width of the hoodie as well as the pants themselves. Keep in mind the sizing. From my experience, this hoodie is a size medium. It fits me exactly exactly how I want it to fit. I absolutely love the fit. The pants on the other hand are a bit big. These are a size extra small. So just keep in mind the difference between an extra small and a medium, okay? On feet to complete that sort of athleisure kind of look, I went with the Nike Lamero 5, easily one of my favorite sneakers that I've picked up this year. And definitely one of the most comfortable. So it's definitely fitting for this type of outfit. And then I threw on that gray beanie again to sort of match the vibe of the sneakers. So if you love sweatpants and that is something that I wear 90% of the time, this is definitely one of my go-to outfits. 
and it's uh, one that definitely gets a lot of wear. One of my favorite sweater styles this fall has to be a sweater vest. This one from a brand called Cotton, K-O-T-N, is easily one of my absolute favorites. The quality on this thing is amazing. I've seen a bunch of their ads on Instagram. I don't know if you guys are seeing the same, but trust me, in terms of a quality perspective, it definitely hits the nail on the head for sure. And to layer it over a white tee is another great layering option for the transitioning weather, something that's not too hot, not too cold. And this does have a little bit of a dressier sort of tone to it. Uh, so this is something that you could probably wear to school, wear to work, whatever your situation is that you wanna have a little bit more of an elevated look, you got yourself covered here. The pants are the Abercrombie 90 straight jeans. They have a nice light wash. And the shoes are the Vans New School. By far my favorite affordable pair of footwear to buy right now. 75 US dollars, how can you beat it? There's different color options, a bit of a puffier silhouette, so they look great with some baggier denim, but overall, to sort of tie it all together, a couple accessories, I got the Seiko tank watch that I got off Amazon, I'll be sure to link it around 150 bucks. You really can't beat it, it's such a great watch. And for the hat, I went with this ALD New York Yankees mesh cap low profile. One of my favorite outfit combos for sure, something a little bit different for you guys. Now this outfit is basically a uniform at this point. This is something that I wear all the time. It is a zip up hoodie over top of a graphic tee. Now this hoodie is one of my favorites that I've bought this year for sure. It's from a brand called Muji Muji. It is a brown oversized distressed sun faded zip up that I absolutely love. This color is perfect with my outfits. It just goes so well with my aesthetic, everything. The tee on the other hand is my favorite graphic tee that I bought this year. I got it off of Etsy. It is a vintage Wayne Gretzky uh, uh, tee that just absolutely has the perfect amount of fading and just the overall vibe of it, the fit, everything about it, I just absolutely love. Now to complete the outfit, I went with these mid-wash jeans from Wrangler. I found that the distressing details on these ones as well just really complement uh, the outfit without overdoing it, if you know what I mean. Now these ones I just I can't find them anywhere online so I will link some similar versions but just keep that in mind and for the footwear these are the Oakley chop saw a shoe that not a lot of people are talking about but one that I absolutely love these do have a nice chunkier sort of mid 2000s type of style and silhouette to them and they're perfect for fall time I absolutely love these they were very difficult to track down for a reasonable size but let me tell you something super glad to have these and uh, they're definitely a shoe that I wish that I could wear more so I'm definitely going to change that this fall season. Now, if you want to learn about some of my favorite fall sneakers to wear this year, definitely check out this video right here. Or if you want to learn about some of the best fall fashion trends, check this video right here. So why don't we click on one of those and I'll meet you guys there.